YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. And today's video, as you can see from the title, is just the truthful YouTuber tag. Now, I like to fashion myself as being pretty truthful in general on my channel. I feel like I put everything on the table, but if there's more stuff I can put on the table, today's video is about that. I'm going to be an open book, tell you everything behind the scenes about being a YouTuber as it relates to me. Because, again, my answers to these questions are going to be different than all the ladies who have done this tag out there so today's tag I think it's a fun tag I've been in a very taggy mood lately if you guys have noticed I think they're fun and I think they're a way to be creative and kind of talk to you guys while at the same time so letting you guys in on the behind the scenes of being a youtuber and the first question is have you ever received a product tried it didn't like it and then decided not to review it no the purpose of my channel is to share with you guys what I like and what I don't like. I want to save you guys money or have you spending your money in the right avenues. I got a comment more recently on one of my videos that was like, girl, it seems like you don't like a lot. Why are you like this? No, I'm telling you guys the facts. I have no dog in the fight. I'm not trying to bring down any brand with any of my reviews. I'm stating real facts to you guys. If you guys want hunky dory, I love every single product in this world, then you're in the wrong department. I I tell you every single thing about the product I wear things out I wear hairs for six weeks seven weeks I don't just flop on a wig flop on a hair love it and then never update you on it I update you on it I think that's where people are seeing a discrepancy because a lot of people don't do updates therefore they feel like everything is great and everything is wonderful when everything might not be wonderful and great so again yeah no I tell you guys everything I don't hide anything from you guys what is a product you use alone but don't show or use online um a product i use alone i think i pretty much share with you guys everything i do like if i do a makeup tutorial i'm sharing pretty much everything i do if it's makeup i'd say i don't show you guys when i put my moisturizer on but you guys should know i use pond's dry skin cream i've used that for probably 12 years half my life that has been the only moisturizer i use i say it in videos but i don't show you that step i guess and i think if we're talking about hair stuff i don't show you me putting my edge control on but i always say i use hicks edges that it's two products that I don't necessarily show but I use all the time and I say I use it all the time but again that's just two I guess three a product you won't buy because you don't support the brand well I would say I have the Dolva Ultima collagen protein hair that Ebony line sells but if you watch my last video I got suckered into buying that Amazon tricked me a little bit with that purchase so that would be the only product but again if Ebony line releases anything in the future probably gonna stand on the same boat I guess more recently you guys know I don't really affiliate with main concept anymore I wasn't really ever affiliated with them in the past I just happened to review a lot of products but if you watch my main concept video you guys know I don't bring to you guys main concept anymore if you have any questions I'll link that video up above as well just to kind of give you some context on why I feel like the brand the overall long story short I don't think the brand values me or sees my contribution to what I've done for them or for the free free for the nothing nothing so again and those are just two brands I won't buy from because I don't support them anymore. Do you have any blocked words? No, I personally don't have any blocked words. So what that means is you can block words so that comments won't even come up if they include those words. So for example, if I don't want any profanity, I can go in and just type in, I don't want, you know, you know, the F word, S word, anything in my comments and it will filter those out automatically. So if you try to type in a comment with that, you'll be like, well, where did my comment go? Where did it disappear to? It's like, no, YouTube automatically took it away. But YouTube has their own kind of takeaway words too. I think you can't use a cuss word in my comment section because I've looked at my held comments and I've seen cuss words before and like I didn't block them out. I didn't say it. So I think YouTube must automatically filter profanity. Um, also, they automatically pull out links. So if you try to leave a link, so if you're trying to tell me something helpful to me, like, hey, this is a product you should use and you leave a link to it, YouTube will automatically kind of hold it and then I can approve it somebody got mad at me one time commented and was like why did you block my link all I was trying to do was show you a product you ain't gotta be like that you ain't have to automatically delete my comment and I was like I have no idea what this person is talking about and I guess YouTube had filtered their comments she was getting mad at me and I was like 
girl chill out i don't sit here in real time and, and, and see every single comment and delete 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 youtube does not let you leave links for me in my case it's for some reason blocking out profanity and it also won't let you say sub for sub or subs for to me or, or those types of things those those are three automatic things that youtube kind of filters out for me that i have nothing to do with like i can't stop them from filtering that out the next thing do you delete comments if so why i don't usually delete comments but if it's extremely 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 hurtful i will just because why do i need to see it like why so there's rare times i probably in the almost four years that i've had this channel have only deleted maybe five comments and it was like you're having a bad day i'm gonna let you have a bad day ma'am but it's not gonna be over here it's just like just reading me for filth for no apparent reason like reading my physical attributes or saying hey you talk funny do you have dentures or something wrong with your like just being hurtful and i'm like why do i need to see that like i have a there's a big x there i can delete this you know i have that control right but if it's anything else i'll pretty much leave it and i'll respond back to the person i don't typically delete comments do you block people yes i've blocked two people um in my entire uh channel one person she kept commenting it was initially when i first started my channel she just kept commenting on every single review video hey is the company paying you hey is the company paying you hey is the company paying you on literally every review she would be the first comment literally the video would go live she would say hey is the company paying you and the first time that i just responded no like i said in the video i purchased this hair for 5.99 at a beauty supply store i think I think because the world is so used to sponsored content and then now a lot of times people aren't addressing if they are sponsored that people are you know fearful that everything is an ad and I'm being clear hey I will literally say in my video if I'm sponsored this is not sponsored I say in this video I spent my own money so by like the 10th time I was like girl you gotta go I've said the same thing over and over again I cannot reiterate I cannot do this every single video I don't know how more clear I can be that this is me presenting this at that time too I only had a thousand like two thousand followers no the brand isn't paying me i don't know if you know how youtube works but this is not how youtube works and the second person she was just rude she left a comment under my video one time and just said always record this is not but i cannot take your voice and the way your mouth moves i am a blunt and i'm outspoken and i responded back being blunt and outspoken are, and being rude are two different things if i had asked at the end of the video how did you guys feel about my voice and my mouth and you responded in that fashion uh, yes that will be considered being outspoken and, and and speaking your truth one the comment doesn't even make sense always record record this is not but i cannot like the comment didn't even make sense and then she just kept going back and forth because i said you know i do have a lisp um you know this is my channel i i I thank you for your your comment but no 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 i have a list blah 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 blah. she said i work with children with disabilities you're using your lisp as a disability you need to say in the beginning of your videos hey my name is leah lavon i have a lisp and then go into my she said i'm trying to give you advice honey i'm trying to help your channel grow honey blah 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 i'm a paid critic or something i was like I, I didn't I didn't pay you to critique me thank you thank you for this critique so she just kept going back and forth would not let up and I was like I'm giving too much energy to these people that's the thing about me is I try my hardest not to give my energy to these type people so it's just easier for me to block this person and to leave it where it is because there are people who will if you are an expiring youtuber these people exist they will give unspoken criticism people have bad days people have lived a life where maybe they were emotionally abused and so maybe they then cascade that abuse on to you where they feel like they can just say things i'm not this person she's trying to say as a christian i have to do this i have to be this person and no you don't don't again i'm a christian too we don't have to do these things church did not teach me that it just go be up to somebody and be rude to them so again yes i blocked two people over the four years that i've had this channel but i'm not an avid block person if somebody does say something rude i don't typically block them i typically ignore them don't know why i engage with this person i think it was just one of those days there are days where you feel like you have to engage and and i need to stop having those days have you ever lied about a product to stay on good terms with the brand absolutely not i have burned so many bridges i'd be burning them bridges i'd be setting fire watching them go ablaze i don't 
ever uh, want to stay on a good term with a brand. I want to stay on a good terms with you and, and a good footing with you guys. You guys make me who I am. A Shake and Go, a main concept, an Altre, a Harlem 125. These brands don't make me. You guys do. Have you ever initially liked a product when you reviewed it and then changed your mind but didn't let your audience know? I actually have had the opposite where I hated a product in a review and now I use it all the time and that product is the Hourglass Foundation. I did not really love it when I first tried it. I don't remember hating it staunchly but I also remember not being a huge fan and now I use that Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation all the time. Literally daily. Literally I'm about to repurchase it once the Sephora VIP B cell comes back around that's how much I love that product now so never liked it and then hated it but I've hated something and then liked it and it was only that product number nine an influencer you don't trust there's not a particular influencer I don't trust I'd say I don't trust influencers who don't say at all in their video that their video is an ad but then I can scroll down and see that their video is sponsored in their content I don't like misleading audiences that's the one thing I dislike so if that is you as an influencer sorry if I'm stepping on toes but I don't like that for some reason I don't like the whole addy nature of so much stuff I will say it in the first 10 minutes if something is sponsored in the first 10 seconds usually if something is sponsored in my video and I definitely list it in my description box too I don't like that at all like I don't like being sold something and not being known that it's a seller you can sell me something I just want to know that I'm being a part of an advertisement number 10 influence you trust the most um natural hair jojoba I love lovely tea um who do I trust the most uh, it's getting so hard to trust people on YouTube I will say that um, Jackie Aina of course for for makeup related things have you ever showed one product but we're actually using another no what kind of shady youtubers are there out here have you ever not disclosed a sponsorship again no next question are there secret tips or product applications you don't show while on camera no I share everything with you there are no secret tips why would I not share these thing I do full beginning to end beauty makeover transformation chit chat get ready with me on this channel so it'd be hard for me too to hide anything because you're seeing me as I'm doing it in real time have you ever had a bad interaction with a brand again going back to what I said previously ebony line main concept those were you know a bad interaction have you ever bandwagon with other people's thoughts on a particular product i've gotten on the bandwagon to try but not on the bandwagon uh, and actually stay liking it like i again watch youtube like you guys do so i've gotten on the bandwagon to try but my feelings have not mirrored everybody's feelings and i will say that with like that smashbox foundation you guys remember i did a review on that foundation because everybody was saying this was the best foundation ever hey it returned it I'll link my review video for up above yeah did not like that foundation but I bandwagon tried it I don't bandwagon on opinions though opinions I can have my own but if you convince me so well that I need to try this product I'll try it but I, I do keep my receipt things other creators do that get on your nerves um not give enough detail about a product or what they're doing i just feel like i'm so thorough in my videos because i'm also that person who needs thoroughness thrown back at me that's how i make my best decisions is i don't do well with uh, people who make the three minute you know foundation reviews the foundation reviews i really liked are like brandy lofton's the fancy faces they are so thorough in their reviews um the people who i trust most for you know content as it pertains to hair is like taste pink because she's so thorough in her reviews she's the reason why i got started on youtube in the first place because i wanted to do her thoroughness and then take it to another level with kind of expanding the weeks but she was already so good at what she was doing so that's what gets on my nerves people who don't have that same level of thoroughness i mean it does take a lot of time the more thorough you are the more time consuming it could be it takes a lot of time like for me to pile up six weeks of content kind of in one video it's very time consuming to wear out these hairs and then not have any other content to film for you guys when it comes to hair but again I don't like people who are not thorough and who will not do up at eights and check-ins I like that Jackie Ina reviews products and then in her IG will say you know I'm still using this and this is how I feel about it so again that's one thing that gets on my nerves so that has been the truthful youtuber tag for me now as I said in my part-time youtuber tag please if you're a youtuber out there engage at night do this tag video I would love to see what you guys come 
I'm up with. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Even if you didn't like this video, if you're one of these people whose toes I stepped on, go ahead and give that thumbs down because you know you want to. Just go ahead and do it. Uh, but I, I would love a thumbs up if you could. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on any of this good content that I make for you guys. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at lelamon89 so you can keep up with my shenanigans in real time. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Tell me what you want to know. Me, I no go lose control.